Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Welcome back to my channel. Now, for a lot of you, I'm not quite sure here, uh, towards the start of the year, I did some audition layouts for scrapbook fantasies to, um, you know, be considered to go on their creative team. And well, voila, I'm actually on their creative team. So we were sent out the Nautical Dreams collection. And I just wanted to go through that with you before I start my layout, which I'm trying something new. So let's learn together. Okay, so in my in my kit, there is a bit of vellum with the um, starfish is what I'm trying to get out. I'm using that today. There is some rice paper. Now, rice paper, you actually tear with water so you get your paintbrush we'll we'll work with this i've only worked with it once before but let's see how we go with that later on all the sheets i've i'm going to keep one of everything of the sheets so that i can go back and check out the numbers for you um so number one nautical dreams um page number one this is all designed by elisa and it's all made in australia so either they make uh, color cuts or whatever in their shop um, as well as the chipboard pieces which you've heard me talk about or all the paper gets printed up in Queensland where they are so number one is this beautiful red and then on the back you have fussy cuts so I've already fussy cut a whole heap number two is hessian fussy cuts number three I love this this is my favorite paper absolutely fussy cuts number four is anchors and poppies and then the rope um you could actually i was intending to cut these out and do a layout with i haven't got that far yet uh, number five is this textured looking paper and on the back is your got a two thirds one third uh, with a lighthouse on the back this is my other favourite. Number six. And on the back you got half a thing of fussy sheets with half the blue and half the red. Okay. So let's just pop this up. And then in my kit I also got... I won't get the rest of the papers out. I've got a lot that I've fussy cut, okay. So... I don't know, I, just, I think oh, that's going to be in my hand. So in this bag here is everything that I've fussy cut so far. So there's a couple of other bits and pieces I haven't, which I need to do. So chipboard pieces. We've got different words as well as some cassettes. We've got the uh, rope on the boardwalk type thing. This is a, a piece of rope, but I'm using um, part out of that. Chipboard net. Um, a bigger cassette with a feel good watermelon pieces. Every time I say that, I think of Harry Styles. My daughter has me brainwashed. Um, beach fun with thongs. And this is like a beach type um, signage and a lighthouse. I have some photos to actually go with the lighthouse one. And then I've got a packet of fussy cut poppies, the red ones. And then this is the rest of the paper. So I've got four pieces of each paper. I'm going to keep one so that I keep can keep referring to it for you. So today we are using oh, number six. <laughs> number six. The other half of one that I fussy cut. i got things going everywhere and the piece of the one. Okay, so I've already started. I have backed my photos and placed them where I want them to go on my page. Yes. I mean, no. Mel's not going completely in utter nuts. She did go back to her roots and start, you know, um, tearing. You know, it's what we all do when we're little and babies. We tear. But I thought of something the other day when I was fussy cutting. And I kept looking at this vellum. It looks beautiful over the top of that blue and it looks beautiful over the wood grain blue. But I'm going to cut some so that it comes up. I just have a piece of 
This is cardstock of mine, and it's a cream coloured. Now look how well that comes up on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut bits that, you know, they come up into there, so they'll and they'll show up in parts, okay? I really don't know how this is going to go, so everyone's going to learn with me whether this is going to work or not, okay? So let's go this bit up here. We'll use it from the top first. I really don't. And I've got some embellishments out. I've got the Nautical Dreams because this is when we went to a little town called Penguin. Um, and no, we didn't go in summertime. We went in wintertime. We really just needed to get out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... This could be fiddly, but anyway, we're going to try it. Just try something new. That's what I say. And if I stuff it up, then you guys know that, okay, I don't do what Mel just did. Okay. And I'm just going to cut around where I just stuck it on. Okay. So I just need not big enough so let's go that way on that side now sorry about my camera I still haven't got a new stand but I think it's um, going okay it's probably me just moving things around and All right so we'll do these edges first I'm used to tearing edges and putting things behind that but not you know, in the middle of your page. But I wanted to try something completely different. That one should fit there. And I have been missing in action for, I mean, I've put a video up, but luckily I got all my videos for... Saturday or Sunday and or Saturday Sunday and today filmed on Saturday before we lost power until um, yesterday afternoon so I literally couldn't do anything I was nursing my phone so that the battery didn't go flat we had a heck of a storm down here um, in Tassie and it's been a it's it's the scaredest I've been. Like when we first moved in here, probably twelve months after we moved in, we had some horrendous storms, like wind wise, hundred and twenty k's, and one of our sheds ended up at the next door neighbor's back uh, door. Um, fences came down, trees came down. We had a heck of a cleaning up in our front yard to do, but this was ten times worse than that. So here I am sitting in the in bed. Just take for instance, last night was the worst. Last night was our worst. You know what? I could get that at the same time as I'm getting that. Um, we had a tree come down. I mean, we've had trees coming down since Friday night over the road, and. Um, trying to get my words out while I'm concentrating. But last night was the biggest bang you've ever heard. It was like a bomb was going off. And it sounded like a tree had fallen onto a house. I get up this morning and my husband got up because he said, well, I'm going to be needed early at work, I reckon. So we got up and got organised and... He got a message that he had to do, before he left home, he had to go up and down the streets of where we live to give his supervisor a tree report so that they could, you know, go from there of where to start first. The whole of Tasmania is a you know, state of emergency because of floods, trees down, power outages, um, you name it, it's... There's 206 known 
um, outages at the moment that affect pretty much three quarters of the state. We were lucky enough to come back on um, yesterday afternoon. And we stress out when the power goes off because we're on septics uh, where we are and um, all of our downpipes and everything go into the septic. So when it's absolutely teeming down with rain, blowing a gale, it's the scaredest I've been for a long time. And uh, we haven't had much sleep, I can tell you now. Um, but last night, that bang, when I get up this morning, my husband left and he I saw him go and get the guy that he works with and he just lives around the corner from us and I saw them go past and I just happened to go to take the uh, garbage and things out because I, I haven't done anything for two days because for one, we've either had no power to do anything, like couldn't wash dishes. And, sorry, concentrating. Uh, tape, where's my tape? Um, couldn't do laundry, couldn't do the dishwasher, couldn't, so, and because it was raining so much, I need gumboots to go outside in to get to the garbage bins, to get to the clothes line. I need gumboots for everything. And... Anyway, I just happened to, I took the garbage out and I just happened to look up to the left hand over the road and our big bang by the looks was a humongous tree landing on top of a car by the looks of it. And I thought, oh my goodness. So there's SES down here everywhere. We have our power still. Because of the way the wind was going, it's blowing the trees a different direction. Goodness. Um, and we dealt with having to clean our showers, etc. With the septic coming back up a bit in the shower and the bath and the basin. And it's the first, probably the first proper storm we've had that my daughter's been, you know, at that age where she understands what the heck's going on and she's worried just as much as we worry. So yeah. It's just <laughs> luckily we have the barbecue to cook on and stuff, but we have a little we actually have we keep a little gas bottle inside. Have I put that on the correct way? Yeah I have. This is what I mean by we're going to learn. That one I didn't. That one's going to go that way. Oh, no. Let's go like that. I'm on the wrong way. Okay, so there you go. There's a wrong way and a right way, and I've just done the wrong way. Mm, yes. Luckily, that's the back. Alright, so let's go. Like that. Don't stick to the card. Don't stick to the card. Looks a bit better. This is what I'm taking. Tape all up. So vellum takes the tape with it. We 
can tell I'm new at vellum and I'm not new at vellum but um, doing something like this. Okay, that corner. That looks a bit better. So it's this one here. Let's go over. Oh, that one came off for it. Right. And get the right pictures in there. That one's right. That one's not. Sorry everyone, I thought I was, I knew I was getting a bit nervous to do this. And of course, with worrying about everything at the weekend, I have no nails left. So that's a bit of a problem. Alright. I think we're right. I think that all looks better now. showering on and off all the time it is just it's just unbelievable so my mother-in-law lives 15 minutes away and they've been off since Saturday night as well but they're still off so um, I think they had more damage with trees up that that neck of the woods. Right. Let's get that down now. That looks better. Right now. I really like how that looks. Let me get make sure that's in shot for you because my camera moves a bit. And this is how unprepared I am. I just thought I'd just start, see where I got without planning as such. Um, because I really didn't know how this was going to work. So <laughs> when you get like that, you go, just go with the flow and see what works and what doesn't. Right. So I've got... My fingernails are all broken and chewed and I kept my daughter home today because she literally has had hardly any sleep and the, the power kept going on and off last night four times apparently after I fell asleep my husband said he stayed up for a bit longer and um, but it must have stayed on then Right. Here we go. We are going like that. So, where is my eraser? Take those bits off. I'm just going to keep sticking to that. So, let me find. Can't get the double sided tape off it. Put my embossing powder thing on there to get the stick off. Done. Now it won't annoy the living daylights out of me. Right. Now. I want my Nautical Dreams chipboard to come down here like so. Okay. I got things out that I don't even know if I'm going to use. I've got some tags 
so it's kind of going to go like that. But cut these Seagulls. now this is gonna be just me playing and figuring out if I like it sometimes you guys need to pick your things out get some fingernails That's what I need And see if they fit. See what that looks like. Might use the seashells. We might use the rope down here. And it's raining again. Oh goodness me. Oh, actually, it might go. We found cockles down there. Put that one there. So on the beach here at Penguin, we actually, or well, my daughter had a ball, um, finding these rocks and they're really glittery. Okay? I think they got a bit of quartz in them. And then they've got really glittery, depends on how you, and it looks different colours. So when she was little, she used to go, we used to go to the beach and have to come home with grocery bags full of um, shells and rocks. And we thought, oh, maybe she's, you know, grown out of it now. And we saw her down at the water and we saw her, saw her doing this. And I went to Darren, what's the bet? Wait for it. She comes up and she goes, can I take this home? And I went, yes, we're waiting for it. <laughs> I think we might go something like that. What do you reckon? I don't want to paint my Nautical Dreams things, uh, title. I like the chipboard sometimes as it is. So we've still got that much left of the um, printed vellum. Now that I've put it on correctly. I didn't use all the embellishments that I got out, so I'll pop them back in the bag in a moment or after. Let us get these things popped down. So let's pop the chipboard on first. And it's just something different. I just wanted to try. I mean, I don't really know if it works, but I like what I've come up with. Now, it's got to be you that likes your page it's going in your album for your family to see and for me I really like this I've got on the photo on this bit of chipboard and car with the rope if I can hold it and so scrapbook fantasies make all the chipboard in store they have a machine, so Elisa designs it, and they make it. Please stay where I want you to stay. I want you to go under that a bit. Okay. Okay. Now. Go. Let's go seagull on the top of that first so that he doesn't move. I want these three together. Okay. 
just fussy cut off a fussy cut sheet. So I'm getting a little stressed. Because I'm trying to do things fast in case the power goes off again. I know my husband texts me a few times. Is the power still on? Power still on? Yes. Oh good, just checking. Why? Where are you working that it would go off? But then SES have been down here this afternoon and I don't know what they're working on over there, but right. Let's glue this one on. I'm gonna go that onto a piece of foam. That one needs to go up here. And me, I'm just about, with the embellishment clusters, I just like to layer it up and if it looks good, it looks good, if you know what I mean. I think that one's meant to go that way. So we'll go that way. And then we'll go... And this was off the, I don't know if I showed you that, there is a, oh, no, I didn't. a words sheet. Here. So the round one came from there that I fussy cut with my dies, oh fussy cut, I cut out with a die. And then I cut the top line off and got some words off. These are available as well. There's lots of things available. Lots of new things. And I've just... There it is. I'm going to come out sideways a bit. Oops. Okay, so let's get our starfish down up there. Just go on three. I'm not yet so frustrated. So use my scissors. Many other people do. And we'll go around that like so. What else do I have there? I don't know if I like that one there. Oh, the ropes. There's another 
the generator going. It was one of these cockling things. Oh, and the other thing that we found there was sea glass. And I thought, rip off. There we go. Let's just go like that. Like that. So we'll get this down here. So we collected some rocks, some shells, and some sea glass. And that's going to go up on foam. down flat like so that's not gonna stay down I'm gonna have to cut a bit off That off there, like so, and we will finish it off. I need some more. I had fussy cut from when I bought some. What have we got? These little things, sea breeze. No, worry about that another time. And we'll use some um, glitter drops, Nuvo glitter drops now. Elisa actually sells the um, stickles, so you may want to go and check that out. You want to go something there, like that, and that will give a beautiful. Oh, I didn't put my seagulls down. Right, these are where the fiddliest little things to cut. But I think they look good. I do have a whole actually sheet of these two still fussy cut that I actually had myself because I um if I could find the photo I had a photo of a seagull sitting on a car Okay, sorry about that. Go back up into here. I just had a little bit of a cough. Asma's been playing up with um the wind. that's my layout done everyone my creative team layout sorry it's probably been a long one but I did something that I have never done before and I didn't really know how it would turn out so nautical dreams number six is this one here we've used the vellum and we've used the fussy cuts and I'll pop that all in the description below um, of exactly what sheets the fussy cuts came off so, if you think you might like to have a go at this, please, by all means, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. At the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, if you give me a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Thank you. Um, I will pop down below in the description box the Facebook group to your scrapbook fantasies. Come on over and have some fun with this. The website for scrapbook fantasies, I'll pop 
Elise's YouTube channel in. She does Friday Night Lives and she actually does a class. And come along and join with us. It's um, good fun. See what the rest of the creative team comes up with. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying to the end. Thank you for watching me do something completely different. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Happy scrapping. Stay safe and bye for now.